methods of hydrogen storage for subsequent use span many approaches, including high pressures, cryogenics, and chemical compounds that reversibly release H2 upon heating. Underground hydrogen storage is useful to provide grid energy storage for intermittent energy sources, like wind power, as well as providing fuel for transportation, particularly for ships and airplanes. Most research into hydrogen storage is focused on storing hydrogen as a lightweight, compact energy carrier for mobile applications. Liquid hydrogen or slush hydrogen may be used, as in the space shuttle. However liquid hydrogen requires cryogenic storage and boils around 20.268 K hence, its liquefaction imposes a large energy loss. The tanks must also be well insulated to prevent boil off but adding insulation increases cost. Liquid hydrogen has less energy density by volume than hydrocarbon fuels such as gasoline by approximately a factor of 4. This highlights the density problem for pure hydrogen, there is actually about 64% more hydrogen in a liter of gasoline than there is in a liter of pure liquid hydrogen. The carbon in the gasoline also contributes to the energy of combustion. Compressed hydrogen, by comparison, is stored quite differently. Hydrogen gas has good energy density by weight, but poor energy density by volume versus hydrocarbons, hence it requires a larger tank to store. A large hydrogen tank will be heavier than the small hydrocarbon tank used to store the same amount of energy, all other factors remaining equal. Increasing gas pressure would improve the energy density by volume, making for smaller, but not lighter container tanks. Compressed hydrogen costs 2.1% of the energy content to power the compressor. Higher compression without energy recovery will mean more energy loss to the compression step. Compressed hydrogen storage can exhibit very low permeation. Automotive board hydrogen storage. Targets were set by the Freedom Car Partnership in January 2002 between the United States Council for Automotive Research and U.S. DOE. The 2005 targets were not reached in 2005. The targets were revised in 2009 to reflect new data on system efficiencies obtained from fleets of test cars. The ultimate goal for volumetric storage is still above the theoretical density of liquid hydrogen. It is important to note that these targets are for the hydrogen storage system, not the hydrogen storage material. System densities are often around half those of the working material. Thus while a material may store 6 WT% H2, a working system using that material may only achieve 3 WT% when the weight of tanks, temperature and pressure control equipment, etc., is considered. In 2010, only two storage technologies were identified as being susceptible to meet DOE targets, MOF-177 exceeds 2010 target for volumetric capacity while cryocompressed H2 exceeds more restrictive 2015 targets for both gravimetric and volumetric capacity. Equals established technologies equals Compressed hydrogen Compressed hydrogen is the gaseous state of the element hydrogen which is kept under pressure. Compressed hydrogen in hydrogen tanks at 350 bar and 700 bar is used for hydrogen tank systems and vehicles, based on type 4 carbon composite technology. Car manufacturers have been developing this solution, such as Honda or Nissan. Liquid hydrogen, BMW has been working on liquid tank for cars, producing for example the BMW Hydrogen 7. Equals proposals and research equals, hydrogen storage technologies can be divided into physical storage, where hydrogen molecules are stored, and chemical storage, where hydrides are stored. Chemical storage. Chemical storage could offer high storage performance due to the strong interaction. However, the regeneration of storage material is still an issue. A large number of chemical storage systems are under investigation, which involve hydrolysis reactions, hydrogenation-dehydrogenation reactions, ammonia boron and other boron hydrides, ammonia, and alane etc. Equals metal hydrides equals Metal hydrides such as MgH2, NaAlH4, LiAlH4, LiH, LaNi5H6, TFAH2 and palladium hydride, with varying degrees of efficiency, can be used as a storage medium for hydrogen, often reversibly. 
Some are easy to fuel liquids at ambient temperature and pressure, others are solids which could be turned into pellets. These materials have good energy density by volume, although their energy density by weight is often worse than the leading hydrocarbon fuels. Most metal hydrides bind with hydrogen very strongly. As a result, high temperatures around 120 a degree Celsius a Euro 200 a degree Celsius are required to release their hydrogen content. This energy cost can be reduced by using alloys which consist of a strong hydride former and a weak one such as in Li NH2, Li BH4 and NAB4. These are able to form weaker bonds, thereby requiring less input to release stored hydrogen. However, if the interaction is too weak, the pressure needed for rehydriding is high, thereby eliminating any energy savings. The target for onboard hydrogen fuel systems is roughly 0.5.